Hello everyone, welcome back to the InfoStreet channel. In today's video, we will dive into the splitter palette function in SAP integration suite. We will explore both the general splitter and iterating splitters. So now let's first understand what does the splitter palette function does. The splitter is used to break down a single message into multiple smaller messages. This is particularly useful when you need to process large messages in smaller chunks or handle individual elements separately. Okay, so now let's start. We will add an iFlow. Let me just give it a name here. Okay. Okay, now we'll, we will click on edit. Let me use an HTTPS adapter here. In the connection, let me just enter the address. Okay. So here we will add the general splitter. So the general splitter allows you to split a message based on a specific condition or a delimiter. This splitter preserves the context of the root nodes with each split message. And we will see when we will deploy this iFlow and then we will use the postman to see the response. Okay. So as you can see here, we will use this XML as a source. Okay, so here the expression type will be XPath. XPath expression will be item. Okay, so now we will use the gather here. So the gather will combine back all the messages that we split it into a single message. Okay, now here let me just select the incoming format as plain text and aggregation algorithm as concatenate. Okay. Okay, now let me just add a content modifier here. I'll, I'll be just adding one header. Okay, the source type will be header and the source value will be application slash XML. Okay. Now let me just quickly deploy this iFlow. Okay, let me go to deployment status, click on navigate to manage integration content. Okay. So, so as you can see here, we have got our endpoint. Let me just copy it and let me just paste it in the postman. Okay, let me now copy the source. Now we'll click on send. So as you can see here, the splitter preserved the context of the root node with each split message. So now we will go back. Now here we will use the iterating splitter. So this particular splitter process each element in a message one by one. It is particularly useful when you need to apply certain operations on each element individually. And this splitter considers only the split entity and does not preserve the context of the root. 
and we will see uh, when we send the request in the postman okay now let me just change the expression type to xpath the xpath expression will remain same okay now let me add the gather here text okay let me just add the content modifier and inside it let me create one header okay Now let's deploy this iFlow. We will navigate back here. Click on send. As you can see here, this splitter doesn't preserve the context of the root nodes. Okay, so that is the difference between the so that is the difference between the general splitter and the iterating splitter. Okay, so let me just show you side by side. Okay, so as you can see here. Uh, in the general splitter, the splitter preserves the context and in the iterating splitter, it doesn't preserve the context. Okay, so that was all for this video. Uh, I hope you got the basic understanding of the general splitter and the iterating splitter. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to InfoStree channel for more tutorials and updates on SAP integration suite and other tech topics. You can also leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or questions for the future videos. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.